During a race weekend, you will, in all likelihood, pay attention to what happens around the teams. This is a big operation including employees, car parts, gigantic motorhomes, etc. Nevertheless, tyre supplier Pirelli also has a massive task in the course of these weekends. Now let's take a look at that. Pirelli has exclusively been taking care of the tyres for Formula 1 since 2011. Previously, they did this in the 80s and 90s, and in the early years of the sport during the 50s. Nowadays, they are the only one providing the tyres, meaning tyre competition has come to an end. This does not take away the fact that a race weekend could very well still be stressful for Pirelli, not lastly, because of the massive logistical operation. Every race weekend, Pirelli brings a whopping 1800 tyres to the circuit. Just think about that. Every car is allowed to use 13 sets of tyres every race weekend, so 13 multiplied by 4, which is 52 tyres per car. This times the 20 cars on track gives 1,040 tyres. However, there are also the wet weather tyres and the reserve tyres, which bring the total to the 1,800. And once the tyres arrive at the circuit, the job is not finished for Pirelli. Before the tyres are attached to the car, there's a special tent where the manufacturer first performs a lot of the preparation work. These tyres originate from Romania, but when they arrive at the track, the rims still need to be fixed to the tyres, and like you may already know, teams have their own personal rims, they don't actually belong to the tyres. Via a tightly coordinated logistics process, Pirelli makes sure the right type of tyres gets paired with the right rims. After all, not every team ordered the same amount of every compound. If you think 1800 tyres is a lot, just wait until Formula 2 and Formula 3 join the race weekend. They too use Pirelli tyres, which results in the manufacturer bringing up to 3000 tyres to the circuit. There are 55 Pirelli employees present during a regular race weekend, all with their own jobs. There are people who assemble the tyres, people who bring and get the tyres from the teams, and there's also a Pirelli employee present in each team, who functions as a link between the team and the manufacturer. They do not just dump all the tyres with the teams at the beginning of the weekend, because between free practice sessions the tyres will go back to Pirelli and the teams will get back new sets, it's a constant process. When a session is finished, the tyres do not just go straight to the tip, the old tyres will have to go back to Pirelli, who remove the rims and save them systematically. Even the never used tyres will go through this process, and their usage does not just stop after the race weekend. Thereafter, the tyres, both used and new, will travel back to Great Britain, where Pirelli has an analysis and recycling centre. All used tyres will go through an extra check and then be recycled. And yes, even the unused ones will be recycled, although they won't travel to the upcoming race weekend. The reason behind this is that Pirelli does not want old tyres to be mixed up with the new ones, so they can keep an eye on preventing possible problems for the weekend. Meanwhile, in Romania, a batch of new tyres is ready to be used somewhere else in the world. After all of this, the entire process starts all over again.